Well, for the final time this morning, wrapping things up with Miss Kat Krapel for our Crafting Wednesday. If you missed it, don't worry, we'll have it all for you online. But where are we as we finish up? Well, before we go any further with the one that we, we uh, did, we mashed earlier, I just wanted to say on your cans, mm -hmm. to do this type of can, you're going to need one that has a lip on the bottom, like the top does, okay? Oh. I didn't know that. So it's got to have this edge just like this. If it's flat like this one, you won't be able to use it. I couldn't figure out how to open it. So once you open a flip top like this, you're going to take your can opener and still remove this edge. You don't okay. want that sharpness in there. And that's what's going to make it smooth like this one. Okay. That makes sense. So, so that's no, good yeah. to know because yeah. some so of them. Different type of can, like the dog food cans, that's a flat round. So you mm -hmm. want to make sure that you have a lip like at the top. Okay. And then all we're going to do next with this one is just add the wire. You can add your beads if you want, um, whatever way you would like to. Yeah. I think we have a, a couple of them that have that. And then you're just going to twist it and put it through the hole that you have in here. And oh, let me no, see. No, you're if totally she can good. See me and then uh, put it through here, pre-made hole, of course, and then you're just going to twist that with your wire cutters, and then that's going to form your little beads, okay? And then you just do the same on the other side. You can put one at the top if you want. That one has one. This one as well. I didn't put anything on this one, but I just wanted to show on this one that we did use the, um, the paper, uh, napkins, excuse me, mm -hmm. for this one instead of doing uh, a little I know, but I love them both. Yeah. I mean, and then all we did was add, well, I didn't, my husband added a, a nail and he just hooked it up. Or you so can put great. a, a little. He really <laughs> contributes <laughs> to this. And then every a hole in the Wednesday. back and then you just put it on here. Or you can use it as just freestanding or whatever, you, and, however you would like. And so. you would never know. No. Right? Like it looks so good. You make it look so simple. And really, it kind of it is. Really I really to do it. It is. You're going to add your foam in the bottom. Again, if you want to have live plants, right. then you're going to use your um, anything like a paper towel or a coffee filter or anything, add your moss if you don't want to do real flowers, um, and then your, your silks, of course, and then this one, of course, is, um, that is a real plant. Uh, and then a cork just cut in two. I, I can't put a little, believe that. <laughs> I can't little, believe Well, it. these were expensive, the, the, and they look pretty much the same, and then you paint it, and I kind of distressed it with some black paint they around so here, good. feet on the bottom, rick rack, anything you have at home. It's entirely, oh, this is fabric because I didn't care for the way the one came out. Uh, so I just went and wrapped it we up. We did it. Saints fabric. Yep. Begin again. Kat, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, when we return, Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier standing by for a final check of the weather.